Hi there. So now we will look into Reason and say goodbye to your boring beats. We will look into how to use internal sequencer with the external drum machines like TR8S. So let's get going with Reason. Okay, let's look into Reason and um, in Reason you have these different players and specifically for drums you have the beat map and then you have the drum sequencer. I have created a template for myself so that I can easily set up the TR8S uh, to my uh, project and um, I have everything now ready. So if I look I have basically mapped all the all the channels. I actually instead of using audio channels I use um, I basically use uh, these um, mixed mixed channels and what I have done if we go into the rack and turn it over I have done I have taken directly from the from the audio inputs uh, I have cabled them into the respective um, channels and um, and and that's pretty much it so and then I have created the bus in mixer so that I'm I'm basically routing everything into into that bus and um, and then summing them over there for my drums. But let's go over here and look then what you can do with the, what you can do with. The... Hey, let's have a small break here. And uh, if you want this channel to keep going, please subscribe for the channel. Also, all the good ideas that you have regarding on what should I cover in this channel, please comment below and I'm happy to jump in those. All right, let's continue with the sequences and your external drum machine. Of course, you need to set up also an audio and, and MIDI. So I went through that how I have set up my audio, but then regarding on the MIDI, you of course need to have a MIDI device. So MIDI out device. There I have the TR8S and, and um, map to channel 10. And then I have used a sequencer. In this case, I have used a, a drum sequencer. The one thing that um, is kind of a bit of a um, challenging here is that you only have like um, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, eight tracks that you can send or MIDI, MIDI information that you can send. So you can't utilize all the 11 with this alone. Most likely you can chain them and, and so you can also have another one that sends different MIDI information into, into your, um, into your t uh, drum machine, external drum machine. And, and this is quite easy basically to, to set up in, in reason. So, uh, I'll just delete this and, um, and I'll, I'll go from scratch. So I, I delete all in group. So now I have only I, I have only basically the the mixed channels that are used for audio and then I have the bus that is is all the all the all the individual channels are routed into the bus but then now let's go and um, let's go and create first of course the MIDI device so we go and hey say that okay we want to have a MIDI out device we send it to TRADS and and channel 10 so that we know that okay that's where our stuff is and now just using my keyboard I could of course play and, and record record drums uh, in this uh, MIDI track but then if I want to use these players I can go into the players and then I just basically take a drum sequencer and I drag and drop it over now I have just basically this set up so there is nothing but you can also save these settings. So I have basically created um, a, a, a ready-made uh, setting for myself so that I can recall it. So I go basically into, into my music and I go to reason and then I go to presets and I have TRS patch presets. So when I pull it over here, it will program these channels and, and the keys accordingly. So, so you need to check out from your drum machine that what, uh, what keys 
uh, each and every uh, drum instrument is um, set. Kick is usually C1, snare is in this case it's D1, and then everything on top uh, as, as, as is. So, so that's basically how you need to then map it, and you can map it here just basically uh, clicking by mouse and dragging and drop, uh, dropping it, uh, not, not track, but dragging it um, up and down. So you drag up and down and, and you can basically set the one that you want. And then once you have set everything, you can then of course program your drum sequence or pattern. Um, and uh, you can use velocity and you can of course uh, use repeats and, and, and things like that. So now if you run it, so then Then you hear bass everything. And then of course, if you would like to use this pattern uh, in, in your MIDI track so that you don't want to use the player and you would like to maybe modify things, you can basically here say that send, send this into the track. So now, now you have the MIDI here in your track with all the velocities and everything. So you can basically also go here and modify the, modify the, uh, you know, the drum pattern that was um, created by the sequencer. And then of course you can add and add, add, add those in, um, kind of pads that you, you didn't cover in, in, in your basic sequence. So, so that's basically how, how this sequencer works. Then you have, an, you have another other option as well. This, by the way, may, when you do this, it actually bypasses also. When you try to do something over here, it doesn't work. So you need to enable it and then run it again. But let's check out the other player that you could use also. That's actually pretty wild. So let's bring the beat map here. And uh, here, basically, if you run, you can, you can then, of course, change these accordingly and And, and then and let's see. This is actually fun. You can get different type of drum lands landscapes. And uh, so you have like a beat map and you go on, on top of the map and it, it plays different sequence depending on where you are in the map. So it's, it's quite fun. Uh, it, it basically gives you in, in a way random um, sequence and of course it works same way as, as the, the other one that you can basically just say that hey send this to the MIDI channel and then you can play around with notes over there. But yeah this is basically this is how you can use the, the sequencer in, in, in reason to, to use these uh, players to sequence into your external drum machine. In this case, I have the TR8S. And, uh, and so it's quite straightforward and it works great so that you can quite quickly come up with different type of beats and then use them in, in your project. All right, that was reason. Next, we will dive into how to create orchestral templates with different digital audio workstations. So. Remember to subscribe for the channel for more content. Thanks for watching. Bye now.